In the cliffs of Antarctica, the land bleeds. This eerie lake of red appears as though the cliffs have been severely wounded. Located in the tongue of the Taylor Glacier, this lake of red flows onto the seeping ice into surrounding waters and staining nearby ice. The fact that this lake of blood continuously flows has been a source of mystery for many experts through the centuries. Positioned beneath 400 meters of thick ice, this spectacle was first discovered in 1911 by geologist Griffith Taylor, who initially thought such a thing was created as a result of algae discoloring the water. However, this was little more than a hypothesis and it failed to answer how the Crimson Lake continued to flow while the mean temperature above the glacier was negative 17 degrees Celsius or 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. But with the advent of new technology, researchers and scientists such as Aaron C. Petit have been able to use imaging to discover what exists underneath the glacier and what they found astounded them. Imaging revealed a number of complex and intricate networks of subglacial rivers and lakes that were filled with brine. The brine was discovered to be filled with a large degree of iron. These high levels of iron have been discovered as the cause of the reddish-brown look to the glacial lake. Moreover, thanks to an investigation by the University of Alaska Fairbanks, this deep blood red is created when these high levels of iron oxidize with the air as they leave the embrace of the glacier and merge with the salt within the ocean, creating a similar effect to that of rust. This is not all blood falls of Antarctica's hold, however. Further investigation reveals more to scientists about how the Earth may have operated before us. Beneath the unyielding ice and under the interwoven networks, the Taylor Glacier houses a hidden ecosystem in which a number of microbes thrive. Trapped in this haven for two million years, the life forms here are thought to draw energy from the copious amounts of sulfur and iron that this bubble environment enjoys. But that's not all. This discovery provides experts with an insight into how the Earth may have operated and survived the snowball Earth periods. This theory proposes that the Earth's surfaces were completely smothered by ice and snow, hence the name snowball effect, and that this process of freezing happened more than once. Therefore, the organisms protected within the ice serve as a time capsule of how microforms developed and evolved under those inhospitable conditions that prevented larger forms from sustaining an existence. Geomicrobiologist Jill Mukaki from Dartmouth College has been collecting samples of the water in the blood falls for over six years. Her research discovered that the water is void of oxygen and is not only host to few microorganisms, but 17. Genetic analysis of these organisms are related to other microorganisms that rely on sulfur to respire, which is how their existence provides us with the ability to travel back in time and begin to understand how the Earth operated in those periods of the snowball effect. As well as this, Further analysis of the sulfate's oxygen levels has revealed that the microbes possess the ability to modify sulfate within the blood falls, highlighting the power of these microorganisms. Further examination revealed that these microorganisms were not using the sulfur directly for the purpose of respiration. While examining the site, Mikuki discovered that the crimson water contained soluble ferrous iron which can only occur if the ferrous iron had been converted from an insoluble form by those 17 different microorganisms themselves. McCucky and her team concluded that the microorganisms had been using sulfate as a catalyst to breathe with ferric iron and then metabolize the limited amounts of organic matter that was trapped with them for centuries. This hypothesis 
has so far been supported by a number of laboratory tests and experiments. As the microbes and microorganisms of our planet today rely on oxygen and carbon dioxide to survive, this makes those life forms discovered in the blood falls leagues different from their modern day cousins. What else will the sinister looking blood falls tell us of our Earth's past? The window that the Taylor Glacier has opened up has led to more questions regarding how life forms survived during the planet's numerous snowball effect periods. Not only does it inform scientists of life during Earth's inhospitable phases, but Alan Kaufman, a biochemist from the University of Maryland College Park, believes that the blood falls also provide evidence of life within a sub-permafrost habitat on planets such as Mars. Therefore, providing researchers with the unique opportunity to understand the conditions of our neighboring planets. One thing is for sure, the blood falls holds more secrets than in time we will discover. Thanks for watching. Please share, please like, please comment, please subscribe.